the whole armor of God. The Bible shows us that the believer can be, can dress like a warrior with the whole armor of God. And that the purpose of the whole armor of God is so that you can stand against the wiles or the schemings of the devil. Are we learning? The whole armor of God. I will run through it very quickly. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or the schemings of the devil. Right? It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is the information that supports your putting the whole armor of God. You put the whole armor of God knowing this. That we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places 13 now it says wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god he repeats that ye may be able to withstand say withstand in the evil day and haven't done all to stand now the weapons stand therefore there are seven of them as revealed here weapon number one is called truth truth i will just list them and then explain them briefly your loins guard about with truth the first weapon that helps you stand against the wiles of the devil is truth number two the breastplate of righteousness Verse 15. Number three, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The preparation of the gospel of peace. Number four, above all, he says, taking the shield, not just faith, the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench how many? All the fiery darts of the wicked 17 and take the helmet of salvation that is number three okay number five take the helmet of salvation and then number six the sword of the spirit which is the word of god are you seeing now he's describing the things that you must dress yourself with to be immune against the wiles of the devil I wonder how Paul had his revelations. Did he see a vision of a man dressed like this? And watching where unto, this is the seventh now, praying always. Most times when we read it, we stop at six. No, it is seven. Prayer is the seventh. Praying always consistently with all prayer, meaning there are different kinds of prayer. He's saying when it has to do with your defense, bring all of them on board. Praying in the spirit, supplications, petitions, add all of them. And he says, watching where unto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Now, let me explain to you, King James, I submit to you that when it has to do with the whole armor of God, King James does not do the kind of justice that we need in understanding this if you read this just in king james you may not have the best expression let's go to amplified we'll jump very quickly and then we'll examine the whole armor of god same scripture amplified please very quickly ephesians chapter 6 from verse let's start from verse 11 put on the whole armor of god the armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies that you may be able to successfully stand against all the strategies and the deceits of the devil. 12. For we are not wrestling. Let's go to 13 for sake of time. Therefore, put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger and haven't done all that the crisis demands to stand firmly in your place. Are you ready? Let's see what Amplify says. Stand therefore on your ground, having tightened the belt of truth 
around your loins so it starts with truth and then number two it says uh, okay well it says and haven't put on the breastplate of integrity and moral rectitude and right standing with god this is him teaching now what that righteousness means are we together next verse let's read very quickly and having shod your feet in preparation to face the enemy with a firm-footed stability and promptness and the readiness produced by the good news of the gospel of peace 16 lift up over all the covering the shield of saving faith upon which you can quench all the flaming missiles of the wicked one 17 it says and take the helmet of salvation and the sword that the spirit wields which is the word of god 18 it says pray at all times on every occasion in every season in the spirit now let me list for you what the full armor of god really means i've searched this in at least 12 or 13 translations and also on a few lexicons number one is truth integrity and moral courage is what the bible refers to as truth number two what he calls the breastplate of righteousness is actually an upright heart an upright heart is what he calls the breastplate of righteousness number three preparation of the gospel of peace is the third weapon do you know what this means he's saying carry with you an awareness that whilst you are ready to preach the gospel there is an immunity that follows you daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 very quickly to buttress on that point daniel 12 and verse 3 the bible says and they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forevermore the star is far in the heavens it is not threatened by anything that happens on earth and he says when you are your feet is shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace derive an understanding that because your heart is stayed on the gospel there is an immunity that you enjoy are we together number four the shield of faith faith like a shield a system of defense number five he calls it the helmet of salvation do you know what this means notice that a helmet protects your head and if you go to an engineering site or you go to battle it seems to me like among the many things you cover they watch your head very carefully and he says what covers your head is the helmet of salvation that means there is an understanding of salvation especially your oneness with christ and your positional advantage these dual revelations that come on account of salvation must protect you the helmet of salvation you draw your strength like Ephesians 6 10 amplified says from your union with him the awareness that I am one with Christ the awareness that I've been exalted your oneness with Christ and your positional advantage as a result of salvation it can cover your head and give you victory and then the sword of the spirit which clearly is the word of God and finally consistent prayer now let me tell you this this is very powerful because when you truly engage these seven arsenals the bible calls it the whole armor of god do you know what this means this is these are the forces that work in synergy to maintain your victory now notice that the whole armor of god does not necessarily establish and manifest your victory but it maintains it the assignment of the whole armor is maintenance because you use it to stand that means you stand maintaining what has been manifest i will be teaching you the, the forces that establish and manifest the assignment of the whole armor is that when these forces have worked for you and the victory has now come you engage them as maintenance systems the whole armor of God I wrote here are largely preventive strategies 
that help the believer maintain his or her victory they are preventive strategies they help you maintain your victory in Christ an upright heart the shield of faith the consciousness of your salvation the awareness of the immunity that follows you as you preach the gospel all of these things are maintenance spiritual maintenance strategies that means for one who has obtained victory in experience you engage these things to maintain your victory having an upright heart alone an upright heart you know what an upright heart is a heart without guile that alone is a powerful maintenance system because when you pile things like bitterness envy anger the devil will march like a warrior and enter your life these are maintenance systems